My name is Betsy and I blog over at Heavens to Betsy and Emily here at Ember Gray asked me to do um, a video vlog to introduce myself this month. So here goes. Um, I always feel kind of awkward doing vlogs but um, I love this idea. So she's asked me some questions and I'm going to answer them for you. I blog at Heavens to Betsy, um, which is a lifestyle blog, faith-based for sure. I like blogging about um, just the day-to-day -day kind of stuff. Um, I guess I kind of cover everything from blogging tips to what I'm up to in my life to um, trips that I go on. My boyfriend actually goes to school in Boston, so I get to go visit him, which is fun. My favorite topic to blog about, I do a series called Girl Talk, um, just about like stuff girls like to talk about, um, everything from relationships to um, the dreams that you don't like to talk about because then that's actually realizing them. And one random fact about me, I was a three season athlete in high school. I played field hockey in the fall and then in the spring I was on the softball team. And in the winter, and yes, I'm considering this a sport, I was on the bowling team. <laughs> My school had a bowling team and I was on it. <laughs> so that's a sport, three seasons, woohoo. <laughs> My design business is totally freelance. I learned how to um, navigate around like Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop when I was in college. My roommate, Emily, was actually a um, graphic design major, and so she kind of taught me the ropes. Um, and my boyfriend, AJ, um, is a graphic designer as well. And so he has helped me a lot learning more, but I've kind of been self-taught. And I do a fair amount of graphic design for my job at my church. So I kind of just took that into my personal life. My best friend, Jen, got married last November. And when I was planning her bridal shower, I was like, oh my gosh, I see all these cute games on Pinterest um, and they'd be fun to do um, in her shower, but I'm not gonna pay somebody to make them because I can totally make them myself. So I kind of got started creating those games for Jen's shower and I just threw them up on my blog and pinned them and lo and behold, like people loved them. It's really like random. People just will email me and say, can you customize the game for me? And um, I'm always happy to do it. I love doing it. So as far as calligraphy goes, um, I just love hand lettering. And so I just play around with that all the time. And I've always had like fairly nice handwriting. So <laughs> um, getting to just kind of play and get creative with that is always fun. Beauty to me is confidence, I think, for sure. I think people who are confident and who clearly like are happy in their own skin are really beautiful. Um, personality makes you beautiful. And when I feel the most beautiful is like after I like knock down a killer workout or something like that. Like if I go for a run, um, then I'll feel like I could conquer the world. And that's when I think I feel the most beautiful. Obviously I love dressing up and being girly. And so <laughs> that makes me feel beautiful too. I think the Bible verse that I've been kind of repeating to myself for the past year really has been take every thought captive and made it, make it obedient to Christ. Um, my dad was diagnosed with cancer a year ago and praise Jesus, he's doing pretty well. But we've just been learning so much about the healing power of prayer and how Jesus just really day in and day out is a healer and is our savior. And so I've learned a lot about my thought life and how I really do have power over my life and my thoughts. And so by taking those thoughts captive and not allowing myself to have those like worst case scenario thoughts, the, that can really just change my outlook on life. One is being just like a gentler person. <laughs> I'm Italian and so I have a very like loud personality and I talk a lot. And so <laughs> I'm trying to learn to just be quiet and just listen more and just be softer and gentler and just really embody what the Bible says about having a gentle spirit. And that's just been an inspiration from a few friends that I have that I, I look at their example and I look at how people you know, are drawn to them and how they're inspirational to others. And I just want to be that. And so I think a lot of that has to do with just becoming a very approachable and soft and gentle person. And not necessarily like being able to be steamrolled over or anything like that or swayed in my opinions, but just to be soft and gentle. The other thing that I'm trying to work on, I am on a journey to become a runner. <laughs> the one thing that I always said is if I could be like 
fantastic at any sport. I'd either be a dancer or I'd be a runner. And I hated running all through high school and college. I was forced to do it for sports, and so that made me really hate it. But I'm kind of on this journey to, like, love it. Uh, and I do. I have learned to love it, but um, also to just be able to do it and do long distances. The longest I've ever run was 10 miles, so I'm pretty proud of that. But I'd love to do a half marathon, and so that's kind of, like, more of a tangible thing. I think like music totally fits seasons. So like I have summer music and I have fall music and I have winter music. And so like there's music that like evokes the sense of a season for me. Um, summer is often a very poppy season. So um, last summer we would hear like Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe and One Direction's uh, What Makes You Beautiful all the time on the radio. It would come on like if it was to call me maybe it would be me or if it was what makes you beautiful would be AJ we'd turn to the other person and say do you want me to pop star sing this to you and then would get like super showy and like grab the mic and sing it to the other person so that's probably like an embarrassing go-to singer um to jam to I work part-time on the creative team at Glad Tidings Assembly of God, so GT Church is what we call it, and that basically means that I'm here at church. I'm actually in my office right now, um, but I'm here at church on Mondays and Wednesdays, so those days typically look like getting up at like 7.30, getting ready, coming in at 9. I'm usually in a lot of meetings. <laughs> I do a lot of like scripting of announcements and getting like sermon illustrations and things like that ready um, and some graphic design. So in the afternoon, I like to work out. Um, I like to go to the gym or go for a run or go for a walk at least. And then at night, um, if AJ's home, <laughs> I'll usually be spending time with him. My non-work day, I'm actually certified as a elementary school teacher in Pennsylvania. So I can teach pre-K through sixth grade anywhere in the state. Um, and I have my master's degree in that. So some days I substitute, um, some days I'm just home and I get to just kind of like sleep in and <laughs> do whatever I want during the day. Um, and usually that, that turns into like graphic design for my personal use or blogging or reading other blogs and things like that. And just kind of pretending that I'm like a full-time blogger because that's cool. <laughs> Can I have three? <laughs> Can I have four? I guess two of my favorite people in the whole world. Obviously, my boyfriend, AJ, is one of them because he's like my best friend. He just totally gets me. He makes me laugh constantly. And I just love being with him, so... That would be one of them. If I can have three more, I'd pick my parents and my brother. <laughs> I guess if I can only have one, I'll keep it really neutral and I won't pick any of them. And I'll go with my best friend, Jen. <laughs> and Jen is one of my favorite people in the world because she's been my friend since I was probably in kindergarten or younger. Um, we grew up in church together and just have kind of been, you know, there for each other our whole lives. Um, I was the maid of honor in her wedding and she'll be my matron of honor. And so she's just definitely one of those people that like I can't imagine my life without and I'm so blessed to have her. She's hilarious and she just is the the kind of friend that like we have like clothing in our wardrobe and we'll wear them on the exact same day that's exactly the same and so we just are very similar learn to be content i think is what i would tell them i grew up in church obviously and i kind of grew up with that mentality of like god has the perfect person out there for me and i'm gonna meet my husband and he's gonna bring him along at the exact time and perfect time and yes i know i'm young i'm not i'll be 25 in a couple of weeks but i spent a lot a lot of time thinking that okay it's okay that i'm not dating in high school i don't even want to date in high school and when i get to college i don't want to date my freshman year of college but then like my sophomore, junior, senior year, this guy's gonna come along and he's gonna be perfect for me and we'll get married right out of college and it'll be a great love story and that didn't happen and that's okay. For a long time, I was really like wondering what was wrong with me and why wasn't I dating anybody and my relationship with AJ and the person that I ended up with like isn't at all what I thought I would necessarily. Um, he's a couple years younger than me actually. He's just finishing college and so that kind of has meant that even in our dating relationship we've been together almost three years and or two and a half years and um, 
you know, we would love to take the next step and get married, but we're just not at a place where we can right now because of him being in school. And so even in like the dating portion of my life, I, I've had to learn to just be content and be excited to be where I am. And so I think that's like a lesson that I've learned and not just in relationships, but like in college and in figuring out what I wanted to do with my life, being on the creative team and a creative arts program, project director, coordinator, whatever my title is, um, isn't at all what I thought I'd be doing. I was going to be a doctor. I thought that for the longest time and I'm not, and that's okay. And I'm so like happy where I am. God had to like pry things out of my hands that I was holding on to so tightly because I thought that was for sure what I was going to be or going to do or what my life was going to look like. And when I finally like just let that go and let him have complete control over that, It just was kind of life-changing. So I think younger generations of women, what they say, let go and let God, is so true. (laughs) Um, But hold hold on to your dreams, but hold them loosely because you never know what dreams God has put in your life and what dreams the world has. My favorite part about blogging is the community. And that's so cliche. And I feel like saying that, you're probably thinking, if you even made it this far in the video, you're probably thinking, yeah, she's full of baloney. But it's so, so true. It really is the best part of blogging. I love meeting people through blogging. I love um, getting emails from people and thinking like, I'm actually friends with them. Or like, we could sit down and have coffee in real life. And I always feel a little stalkerish and feeling like maybe they don't feel the same way. (laughs) like but then you meet people like Emily here who's fantastic and I really do feel like she's a a true friend um and that I could actually sit down and have coffee with her and it wouldn't be awkward or weird it would be totally normal and we'd be buds (laughs) so um if we lived closer buddies (laughs) um but that would be my favorite part and my dream of heaven for heavens to Betsy um I'm learning I think with my personal blog, I've been blogging for five years and it's grown for sure. Um, Maybe sometimes not at the rate that I would love for it to be growing, but it's okay. But I recently started a group for bloggers who love Jesus and who love community called the Peony Project. And so if you are fitting into those categories, stop by my blog and click on the advertising page and sign up for it. It's totally free. It's just a Facebook group right now. We have an Instagram account. But I would love for that to just grow and flourish and just become a place where women can connect with one another, can ask advice, can give feedback to each other's blogs, and then just to be real and be friends. And the big dream for that would be to see it turn into some fantastic weekend or week-long conference kind of thing where we could all just get together and just eat good food and have good conversation and just really get to know each other well. I just want to see that grow and flourish and I'm learning that like I love my personal blog and I would love to see that become a beautiful mess or the Rockstar Diaries, (laughs) those huge blogs that I read every day, but it's okay if it doesn't. But what I would really love would be to see the Peony Project just to become something huge and can't do that by myself so I'm so glad that there's other people involved with that and looking forward to watching it grow and then maybe expanding the leadership team of that a little bit more but um, I think that's the big dream right now thanks for sticking with me if you made it this far and I know she's putting some links down there so follow me bye guys